Hello guys, this is Imran from Imstech and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a website using Fireworks and Dreamweaver and we're going to be creating our graphics including rollover buttons and then we're going to go over into Dreamweaver and I'm going to show you how to create the whole website and with it all being linked for us and ready to actually just start working on content and this is there are many ways of doing this but in my opinion this is one of the better ways and the simpler ways rather the quick way of getting a website up and running so the first thing I've done is loaded up fireworks clicked on new document and I put the width as 1024 and the height should be so it should have been 768 and the resolution should be 72 which should be normal I'm gonna press OK so this is a blank canvas at the moment I'm gonna draw a really simple banner I'm gonna click on rectangle I'm just going to draw one out and this is my banner I'm going to just add a quick uh, gradient so I've clicked on the properties panel uh, gradient I'm just going to change the color so where it's this light green color I might make it this yellowy color don't know I don't not the best but um, doesn't matter I'm going to just add like a little texture to it so I've clicked on the texture and I'm going to go with something uh, I like piano keys that's pretty nice and then I'm gonna click on text and I'm just gonna to to type in banner obviously you guys will type in the name of your website I'm gonna highlight over this and make this banner color sorry make the text color different and I'm just gonna add like a quick design to this uh, just put a donut in there whatever. and you, you can imagine this being a really nice funky cool banner um, but obviously it's it does it's okay for now and now on to the buttons the buttons are just going to be rectangles so I'm going to click on this rectangle I'm not worried about the size but roughly about this size um, then what I'm going to do is add a I'm just going to give it a color and the color is going to be a dark green say and now what I need to do is convert this to a symbol what we're going to do is we're going to make a rollover button so it's going to have two states it's going to have an up state and an over state so when I put my mouse over it it changes a little bit the first thing I need to do is right click and press symbol, uh, convert to symbol rather, which is F8. So convert to symbol, I'm going to call it button and I'm going to click on the button type. It's very important that we click on the type as button. I'm going to press OK and what it's done is it's put this green slice. So I'm going to just move it over and you can see it's got these green slice and I'm going to hide the slice. So over here you can see show slice or hide slice. So if I hide the slice, this is what it actually looks like. But with the slice, it looks like this. So this is a quick tip for you guys to hide slices. But don't worry about that if you don't understand that at the moment. You'll understand it in a second. I'm going to double click. And you can see it's grayed out everything apart from my button. Now on the states panel on the right side, you can see you've got up and over. Um, over state is blank. Up state has got something in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the up state. I'm going to copy, edit, copy. And I'm going to paste it into the over state. Okay, so now the up state and the over state look exactly the same. Don't worry about down and over while down. The two that we need to worry about is up and over. And what I'm going to do is just make a sort of a simple effect. So I'm going to just draw a little rectangle and I'm going to give it a color. I'm going to make it light green and I'm going to just put that into that sec the uh, button section. Oops, I made a mistake. I'm going to press edit cut. I've actually done this effect on the up state where it should have been in the over state. So I've clicked on the over state and then I'm going to paste it in. So up state looks normal. Over state's got this green thing going on, yeah? Okay, now to get back into the normal mode where everything isn't grayed out, um, you click on the top where it says, says page one. Okay, so I've clicked on page one. And again, just to recap, to go back into where we can edit the up and over states, you double click on the button and you can get here. So you can see button and then page one, okay? Now what I need to do is I've made this button the way, it, way I want it. So if I click on preview and I roll over, so this is how it looks. Yeah. Um, obviously we need to add text and we need to make a few more buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to press Control C, which is copy, the shortcut for copy. So I'm going to press Control C and then I'm going to press paste six times. Yeah, or actually five times because I want six buttons. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's pasted it on top. So we're just going to put one next to one next to each other and so on and again and so that looks fine to me I'm just going to drag this to the top um, that's fine 
Now, what we need to do is obviously add some text. I'm just going to make the text size small. I'm just going to call it button. You guys can obviously call the buttons whatever you want to call them. Um, so, control C on that, control V. So, we can just control V, two, three, four. We've just got these buttons. They're just called buttons at the moment. And basically, what I want to show you guys is how to actually create links. Oops. How to create links. So I'm going to click on this button right here. Um, and in the properties panel, it says link and alternative text or alt. The one I'm going to focus on is link. Um, so I'm going to click on link and then type in home or index. You can type in index. But I'm just going to type in home anyway. Home dot html. Okay. It's really important. Next one, I'm going to call it about dot html dot html, and this one I'm going to call game dot html. So I'm just going to double check that. So this one is called home dot html, about dot html, game dot html. I'm going to leave the other three blank because this is just an example. You can obviously add a, a footer in there as well. So I'm just going to draw a quick footer. You can add some text in there and change the appearance, whatever, whatever, whatever. And now what's the, the next step is to add slices for our banner and for our footer. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. You click on the slice tool or K and you drag over your banner and then you drag, you sort of draw, draw your slice over your footer. And just want to show you guys this middle section you keep empty and what you don't want to have is red lines sometimes what can happen is if the button is slightly lower so if I'm, going to, I'm pressing down and um, you get these red lines you don't want these red lines at all um, so you can see there's two red lines one on the left one on the right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a slice on the left and I'm going to draw a slice on the right and that gets rid of the red lines in the middle so I've got a nice clean middle section and I don't need to draw any slices for the middle section okay now we're ready to actually export this so but before we export I'm just gonna hit the F12 so we can actually preview this um, see what it looks like any second now so this is what it looks like buttons and obviously they don't go anywhere um, if I click on them they go, they, they've obviously not got a button to go to a place to go to but this is what it looks like don't worry about the footer being in the center of the page we can adjust that, that adjust that in Dreamweaver we're going to export this but before I export this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new um, new folder so I've gone into my desktop I'm going to press folder and then I'm just going to call it my web site no spaces okay uh, you can add spaces if you want then I'm going to go to file and export I'm going to go to export and then I'm going to find my website folder that I created on my desktop which is wherever I can find it is this one and then I'm gonna give this a name again I'm just gonna call it my website and I'm gonna press OK or oh, actually save make sure it's HTML and images is export HTML file it says export slices and I'm gonna press save so now if I show you what it looks like um, the folder looks like um, you've got you should hopefully have an error. okay that's an error um, and, I'm, and I'm glad that happened the reason that happened is at the moment I've got this slice selected okay um, what you need to do is make sure you've got no slice is selected so you click on your an empty area or the gray area on the left I'm going to really quickly do this so I'm going to just go in here delete everything that's in that folder and then I'm going so I've clicked on the gray area make sure no slices are selected going to press file file export I'm going to call it my website it's already in that folder I'm just going to press save and then hopefully fingers crossed you've got all this stuff going on so if I click on this one right here um, the one that says my website and you can see the website in um, Google Chrome now you go to Dreamweaver you click on site and then you press manage site and then you press new and then you give it a website name. I'm just going to call it my site again. Obviously, if it's a football website or a cricket website or a golf website, you can call it them names by your actual website. Um, and then I'm going to click here, the second one, and I'm going to find my website. It's this one right here. 
my website and I'm, I'm going to press select and press save and I'm going to press done now on the right side here it says files and you can see everything over here so I'm just going to pull that out you can see what everything looks like um, it's all going on here um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to click once and I'm going to click again that allows me to rename the page I'm going to call this master dot html okay and then I'm going to double click to open this and I'm going to go into my design view what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the center bit at the moment it's a white image we don't want the white image so I'm going to delete that white image now you can see the cursor is in the middle of this page what I'm going to do is click on my properties panel I'm going to click on left for the horizontal and I'm going to press top for vertical so my cursor is now at the top okay and I'm going to change the format to h1 and I'm just going to type in the word title and then I'm going to what you can do is you can add properties so you're going to click on page properties and there's other ways of doing this using CSS um, but this is a simple way of doing it um, click on appearance I'm going to change the text color to a dark green to the way I want it you can change the font page font I like Vadana uh, combine it I'm gonna press OK so that's obviously changed it the way I want and I'm gonna press X and I'm gonna save that okay so my master page is perfect the way I want it I'm never gonna to touch that master page ever again okay but what I'm what I will do is I'm gonna press Control C which is copy and then Control V one two three four five six one for each button one for, one for each link you can see it's only done three so I'm gonna do it again Control C one two three three more so I've got six pages I'm gonna click and I'm gonna rename each one so I'm gonna call this one home or you can actually call it index I'm going to click again and I'm going to call this one about. I'm going to call this one game. So remember, this is what I named my buttons initially in Fireworks. So that's why it was very important that we got the correct name. So I'm going to click on Home and I'm going to obviously just change the title to Home. And then I'm going to click on About. I'm going to change that to About. And then I'm going to go on Game. And I'm going to change that to Game. I'm going to hit F12. I'm going to save everything. Save this one and save this one. this one as well. So why isn't that loaded? I'm going to hit F12 again. Okay. So you can see the the first button which is home, the second one is about or abu and then the third one is game. Okay? So that's why obviously you guys can name your buttons properly and you're ready to make your website now the thing over here the footer obviously that's got um, you can actually what you can do is if you hit return just keep pressing return you can actually drop the footer down okay so the footer has become the size you want it to look to be rather and that's fine that's how you actually make your website that's how you manage a, a site that's how you do it so just a quick recap um, created it in fireworks initially made my buttons made my banner then created a slice and then I created a slice for the banner made sure there was no red lines in this section pressed file and export exported it to a folder on my desktop that de that folder could be anywhere on your your uh, local drive then I went into Dreamweaver clicked on site manage site and then I pressed new renamed it found the folder where I exported it to and then press OK so um, on my files section you can see I've got all the website files and I changed the initial one which was the green one and it was called my my site.htm I changed that to master.html with an L at the end and then I um, duplicated it six times and then I altered each page the way I wanted it to so now I'm basically done all the hard work now I can just add content freely the way I want to in Dreamweaver hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure you comment rate and make sure you subscribe and um, hopefully that way I should get more views on YouTube take care